have here is a Dewar vessel uh, uh, connected up to a vacuum pump. So I evaporative cooled it down to about 63 degrees Kelvin. At that temperature, it solidifies. So from here down to here is solid nitrogen, or nitrogen ice, which is incredibly cold, like I said, around 63.3 Kelvin. Well, at that temperature, fun things can happen. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let some air back into the chamber here. Try to let it in slowly. The warm air is causing an almost instantaneous reaction. You can still see there's some ice in the bottom there. So I'm going to pull this out to show you here. So you can see there's still actual ice floating in the bottom there. So it's nitrogen ice at atmospheric pressure. I'm now going to pour this into this vat here of hot water. And you'll see the white here is CO2 being condensed out of the atmosphere. And if it all works well, it'll actually solidify to a solid. So let's see how this goes. I have a fan currently running, keeping the vapor away so you can see it. There we go. So the white you're seeing on the surface right there is actually solid CO2, or dry ice, as is most commonly known. And there it is forming on the edge there. <laughs> it all goes well. They should solidify. There we go. Frozen CO2 jetting around on the surface of the water. And it floats around on a little jet of CO2. So it's actually cold enough to condense CO2 right out of the atmosphere, or out of my breath. So it's floating around little jets of actual CO2 gas, it's sublimating, going straight to a gas from a solid. And there we go. So that is how you create CO2 from the atmosphere by vacuuming, cooling, or evaporative cooling liquid nitrogen into a solid.